Hi, this is Dylan with Solark, and today I'm going to go over how to use the PowerView app to take a look at your system. So first off, we're in the My Plants tab, and we'll go ahead and select our plant, Solark Shop. That'll take you to the home screen here, where you're going to get a pretty close to live view of your system. Uh, there is a two minute delay uh, on this data, but uh, it looks like I'm making some power on the solar panels, selling to the grid, and charging the battery. Um, yes, the battery is showing 100% and it's still pumping power into the battery. Um, this one, this particular system is still learning the battery, so the battery is still accepting charge, uh, which is why it's still charging it. Um, below this, we've got a nice little graph here that you can use for day, daily, um, monthly, and annual views of your data. You can click on each section here and see what contribution each one of these has had. Um, so if I wanted to remove uh, any of these pieces of data, you'd actually have to use the online version, but on the app at least you can uh, take a look at each section. Uh, the daily view is kind of cool too. Uh, you can remove individual aspects by touching them. So if I just wanted to look at PV production, I can do that. Or if I just want to look at the state of charge, I can do that. All right, and moving on to the chart section. There are charts for the solar the inverter production, the battery settings, the grid, the loads, and the more tab is the one that I'm really going to spend some time on here. But here you can see, you know, voltage, current, power for the solar panels. You can see L1, L2 of the inverter output as well as some continuous specs like the, the frequency. The battery here, watts, percentage, amps, voltage, temperature, all that good stuff. You can drag your finger along the chart to see um, you know, what that data point is. Um, we'll go on to the grid here. You can see all the pertinent information as well. Amperage, um, all that good stuff. These external power, this EXT underscore PWR L1, L2, uh, those are the CT sensors, uh, external limiter sensors is another name for them. Um, you can check out what those are reading there. Usually that'll tell you how much power the entire home is using and net. Uh, right now, uh, this particular system is offsetting everything that is being used on its load center plus uh, an extra 3kW to the grid, which is why it is negative. Um, moving on to the load section here. Uh, looks like this particular system uh, isn't doing a whole lot on the loads, but you would see some load information here. Uh, this system doesn't really have any. Um, if you click forward to data that doesn't exist, I tried to just go to tomorrow. Uh, tells me that I've reached the end. If I go backwards, um, there's no data available because this system was just recently hooked up for the loads. Um, you can go to the More tab. So this one's the most powerful section. Uh, you can pick any one of these little variables here. So if I wanted to see PV power only, I could do that. If I wanted to see PV1 and PV2, I can do that. I can look at my PV totals and remove the individuals. I can look at um, just grid power, battery charging, state of charge, all that good stuff is available uh, right here, one at a time or a bunch at a time. You can get really crazy with these graphs. Um, there is a limit though, I think you can only look at five at a time maximum, but uh, it's very useful for debugging. Next up is the device tab. Now this has some useful information mostly for us here, but for you guys, if you click on this little settings in the inverter box, it'll ask you for a password. Now this is going to be the same password as the account, and once you log in there, uh, you'll be able to remotely change the settings or and or look at the settings uh, for the system. So you got your battery settings here, you can take a look at all these, change these remotely, make some adjustments for your customers, system working mode. This is uh, going to be the programming for what the system is supposed to be doing. Right now, this system is in zero export to load, which means that it's only powering the load panel and solar cell. So it's selling to the grid. So this system's pretty much just selling to the grid. Um, we've got our grid settings. This is our UL1741, reconnect times, um, hertz ranges of allowable variations in the grid. All that's re remotely program programmable here. Um, smart load, I'm currently using it as a generator input on this system, but you could uh, go ahead and change that to whatever it should be. Um, I 
advanced functionality here. You know, Gen Peak Shaving, Grid Peak Shaving, Parallel Settings, Modbus Address, all that stuff is right here. Um, system Time, uh, this Arc setup here. This is for Arc Fault. You can reset the Arc Fault, uh, clear it or disable it here, um, which is sometimes handy. Time Sync, that just means that uh, you're going to allow the system to use the internet to update its time uh, or not by either being enabled or not. And then the beep is pretty obvious. Uh, this is handy to be able to turn the beep off uh, because the beep can get a little bit annoying if uh, you are debugging something. And then lastly, there's the factory reset. I would not recommend using that remotely. If you're gonna do, if you do need to do a, a factory reset, I highly recommend that you're on site for that. But it is technically possible to do remotely. Um, all right. Last but not least, if you go back to the overview and then go back to the my plants. Um, there's an alert section down here. So here you can see this system's had quite a few. Uh, that's because we experiment on this particular unit uh, fairly frequently. But you can see whenever the faults were and what kind they were, uh, all in one convenient place here. Um, and if you're an installer or a, uh, an active customer, you actually can get email alerts sent whenever you have a fault. Um, although you have to set that up on the website version of this app. Um, you can go over here to the Me tab, change your password, um, and a lot of this is covered in the initial setup video, so I won't go over too much of that. Um, lastly, you can have multiple plans here, so if you have, if you're an installer with a master account and you have several customers, this would have a, uh, they would propagate here as a list, uh, or if you're a customer that has multiple units, even in parallel, you'll have uh, one plant per system, and they can all uh, propagate here. Anyways, uh, that's just a quick overview. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, keep an eye out for more videos from us on our YouTube channel, and have a great day.